Welcome back to Educator.com. This lecture will cover the introduction to the whole immune system. The immune system is a very important part of microbiology. In fact, most courses, it's at least a third to a quarter, of quarter to a third, or even half the class is really to learn about how the body reacts to the invasion of these pathogens. So the immune system, to introduce you to the topic, the immune system is basically all the parameters and all the weapons and all the physiological processes the body possesses in terms of identifying the pathogen as well as eradicating the pathogen. So really, pathogens are really can be considered as anything foreign to the body. So the body is also protecting us from different uh, pollutants, uh, things in the water, you know, metals, chemicals. It's not just living microbiology organisms, it's also other things as well. So immunity, to define what immunity is, is really all of the physiological mechanisms that allow the body to recognize these uh, foreign materials and then eradicate them. So there are two uh, arms of the immune system. There's the nonspecific arm and the spe specific arm. And these two don't really work separately. They're working together all the time. But in terms of learning about these aspects of immunity, it's best to learn each one individually. And then later in the lectures, we'll bring them both together. So the nonspecific aspect of immunity includes barriers and it includes also different mechanisms that are inherently there in the body that don't require identification of the pathogen. They uh, are there basically as a nonspecific barrier. And also that the nonspecific aspect of the immune system involves inflammation as well. Now the specific arm of the immune system requires identification of the specific identity of the pathogen and also a very specific response is launched against that specific pathogen. So the specificity part of that aspect of immunity is essential. And that uh, arm of the immune system is called the classic immune response. So the immune system also includes the physiological barriers that are just inherent in the living body. And so in describing these aspects of immunity, we'll begin by illustrating the barriers, and then we'll discuss the nonspecific arm of the immune system and then the specific arm. And as I mentioned, we'll bring it all together and look at case examples.